Hi, Paul. Thanks for watching. So Chris is telling me that you're staying pretty busy, which is fantastic. I just wanted to shoot this video over to you just so you can see how search engine optimization or SEO for your website can drive some sales, not just for your entire business, but for a specific part of your business. Meaning we can target just a specific type of service or just a specific location uh, to try and increase things where you want them rather than having to have this huge budget budget that'll encompass everything from everywhere. So just to demonstrate this, what I've done is a quick search here for carpet cleaning in Boise. And I've taken the top three websites from the top three competitors uh, because 75 to 80% of the traffic will actually come right to these top three. So I take their websites as well as your own and I put them into this tool that I use and it shows me all the information that Google finds when it crawls your site and then it uses to determine your position in the search results. So let me just quickly go through some of these uh, to give you an example that there, there are two ways that Google uses to, to determine where your position is going to be in search results. The first is what's called the authority, which is the trust that it has in your site. Now this basically just boils down to a popularity contest because this authority is gained when other domains or websites refer back to yours and then they create a link. And then Google uses that as an endorsement because it builds trust since others are vouching for you. Now, to give you an example, if, say, the local news station did an article on their website and it said the top 10 best carpet cleaning companies in the Boise area, and in that article, the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one backlink from one referring domain. Now, there's a lot of different types of websites that can link back to yours. Some of them are more spammy than others. So what we really need to do is find sites that are highly authoritative also, they have to be relative to your service industry, and then we try to link back to those to create that trust. Now, just taking a quick peek at some of the top competitors, you can see that they have a lot of different websites that link back to theirs, creating a lot of trust in the eyes of Google, and that's why they're being listed at the, at the top. Um, so just something to note here is this is where we can target a lot of specific things because each one of these websites that link back to you they have to link back to a specific page or a specific keyword on your site. So we can be getting those links only to either a specific location or a specific service that you want to do and build trust and authority in Google's eyes for that one particular service or area. That way you can gain traction just there and not have to compete with all of these because these are going to a lot of different services and a lot of different areas. We just basically pick exactly which one you want. Now, the second factor for ranking the website is the content on your page. Uh, as you can see here, you're only being picked up for one keyword. Um, let me just go into a competitor here and I can kind of show you how this works. So these are all the keywords and phrases that are being typed in the Google search that are being found on this company's website and it shows you the volume, the number of times per month they're being searched. So this is where we do a little bit of research to find all the highest volume keywords relative to the services you offer and the areas you offered in and make sure that those are being included on your site. So for instance, carpet cleaning in Boise, that's obviously a big one. It's 800 per month, 800 people per month are, are trying to search for that word. Um, KD is keyword difficulty, so you can see it's, that's on a scale of one to 100. Uh, anything underneath a 5 is pretty much easy. 5 to 10 is a little bit more difficult. Anything over 10, meaning that yeah, it's fairly competitive. And then once you get into the 20s, now we're almost talking at the national because this is, is a pretty difficult keyword to rank for because a lot of people are searching. So a lot of companies want to get into the top position for that. However, if you were in the top spot or in the top of the first page somewhere, you know, those 800 people will be seeing your website. Um, we usually are really conservative and say about maybe 10% of that will actually become a potential lead to the business, whether they do a form submit and email you, or they call you directly. Uh, and then, you know, depending on the, the close percentage, and it's, it's, all, it's different for every, every industry and every location, but you can just see how the sheer volume can start to add up to some, some services at the end of the month, at the end of the year, and some revenue. Um, and then we, we can repeat that same process for any different type of service or any different location keyword that you want on the website. However, there is a formula that Google uses to find these keywords on the site. So if we take a look at your site here, um, the issue that I'm having is there just really isn't a whole lot of content on your page to be found for, and that's why you've only got that one keyword that's coming up in searches. So the general rule is 
Google wants to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a home page. It assumes that the more information you have on your page, the more of an expert you are, and then the more likely it is to recommend you. However, it is also a competition. So if your competitor has 1,500 words, we got to go 2,000. If they have 2,000, we do 2,500, just like that. So, um, the, the number of words on the page really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one keyword for every 150 words of text on the page. So every service that you want to be found for or every location you want to be found for, we need to have 150 words of content to back that up in order to qualify in Google's eyes. So when we're looking at searches, there's two different options. The first thing that's always going to come up is what's called the map pack. This is free to get in here. You just need to fill out a Google business profile, which is part of the, the Maps app nowadays. So you can do it right from your smartphone. Now, when you're, when you're filling out the profile, you want to fill out as much information as possible, including all the services you offer, the areas of operation, even the hours. Then in your business description, you're allowed 750 characters. You want to try to put some keywords in there as well to optimize that. Then you want to try to take pictures of your, your work that are geolocated and tagged from within your service area that you service, as well as putting posts on your Google profile on a regular basis. You want to try to collect reviews. And then a big thing you want to get is what's called a citation. Now, a citation is any time that your name, address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. They're usually always free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. Now you want to get listed in more directories than anybody else on this list, and then with all that optimization, it should help you climb to get into one of these top three spots, which is pretty beneficial because they do get a lot of traffic since they're right at the top of the page. Now underneath that, this is the organic search results. So this is where the more authority or trust that Google has in your site, the higher up on the list you're going to rank. So this is where getting more of those links or referrals from other websites will help you climb and outright the competition. However, given how much the competition has for linking, that will be a little bit of a process that will take some time. Uh, so perhaps getting into the this listing up here with your Google business profile might be something that's a little bit easier to do rather than trying to compete with established companies. Um, there, I know he said that you have, did not have good luck with ads in the past. I will say that any kind of pay-per-click ad, whether it's Google or Facebook, that we have to create what's called a landing page, which is a, a page that the ad sends them to that is very specific. It has something to do with whatever the message was on the ad, whether it was a discount or a specific service. It's, it's a very specific process to get conversions from pay-per-click ads. If you just send a ad and have them click on it and it comes to this website, that's going to be why that there isn't much of a conversion. Um, it's, they're really going to want to see something that's specific. And it's something that's that's more modern to what they're seeing in all the rest of these websites. Um, minus this, this one's terrible. Um, but like say this website is doing a really good job. They have the format is set up really well. All the services, every kind of, all the information that they have. They said click the call, click the schedule button. Everything is mobile optimized because the majority of people are actually on a mobile device nowadays. So you want to make sure that. You know, they can hit one button and it'll automatically put the phone number in for them or start a brand new email, things like that. So um, in order to do that, whether it would to be to optimize your listing for in the search results, whether for down here or for advertising, um, the pay-per-click ads, you would definitely need to, to rebuild the website. If it, we're just trying to target, say, the Google business profile, um, we don't have to, to build a website, but I will say that you know having a more modern and dare I say flashy website uh, will definitely attract some more attention so that way when they are clicking and then they get to your site they don't instantly click off because they assume it's an older site but I, I know I try I tried to keep this fairly brief but there's a lot of information I wanted to cover for you because there's a lot of different options for you but please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you want me to go into any further detail we can talk about some of your goals and then I can do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those specifically so I appreciate your time and I look forward to speaking with you